কালৰ হিৰব জয়ন্তী অনুষ্ঠানত অংশ গ্ৰহণ কৰিছে ৰাষ্ট্ৰপতি দ্ৰপতি মৰমুৱে অসমৰ মুখ্যমন্ত্ৰী ডক্টৰ হিমন্ত বিশ্ব শৰ্মাই মুহূৰ্তত ভাষণ ৰাখিছে আমি পুনপতি সম্প্ৰচাৰত আপোনাক লৈ যাব বিচাৰিছো এ মেজৰ কেটালিষ্ট ইন এমপাৱৰিং আৱাৰ সিটিজেন সো ফৰ देयर ৰাইটস আর কনসার্ন as a matter of religious practice and philosophical discourse law in our country has a glorious history emanating from the vedas the upanishads and other religious texts law was a fertile field in our country which was enriched by different philosophical schools although the modern indian judiciary is partly a continuation of the british legal system the fact remains that from time to from time immemorial our country had a well development jurisprudence the ancient indian law was based on the principle of dharma or nyay that talk about the principle of natural justice it is the same principle that continue to govern our judicial system today and the guwahati high court is a glaring example of this i would like to reiterate the fact that the guwahati high court has time and again stood with the common people in their testing times and played its role as their savior the dark days of emergency are testimony to the commendable role of guwahati high court in protecting civil rights of the people i would like to draw attention of the honorable president ma'am that during the days of emergency the guwahati high court not only admitted writ petition despite the provision of emergency but also stayed press censorship orders on a number of newspapers and periodicals this was phenomenal on the part of the honorable guwahati high court and not without reasons this should be inscribed into the annals of our judicial history the guwahati high court initially known as the assam high court was formally inaugurated on 5th april 1948 the court was later renamed as high court of assam and nagaland when nagaland attained statehood in 1963 till 1971 it exercised judicial authority over the entire northeast in the same year while the reorganization of assam this court was renamed as the guwahati high court and benches were created for arunachal pradesh manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland and tripura in 2013 three full fledged high courts of judicature were established in the region at imphal shillong agartala to cater to the needs of manipur meghalaya and tripura respectively This illustrious history has given this high court a unique identity. This uniqueness stems from the fact that for a longer span of its existence, the Guwahati High Court was the common high court for all the seven states of our region. This court has been dealing with the fascinating task of interpreting tribal laws and custom prevailing in the various northeastern states. mention may be made that traditional dispute redressal system are still in force in the larger area of northeastern state amongst various tribal clan as an alternative redressal mechanism this court is having a law research institute mainly to undertake research work into various customary laws and administration of justice prevailing in this part of the country upholding this distinction of conducting research in this area this court has a number of publication to its credit this high court also has judicial authority on subject falling under six schedule of the constitution of india the six schedule read with article 2442 and 2751 of the constitution of india forms a special provision for a number of states of northeast this high court has always played a unique role in justice delivery so far as six schedule matters are concerned at this momentous occasion i'd like to draw attention of the august gathering 
to a very pertinent issue which is posting a constant challenges for our judiciary. Honorable Prime Minister, while speaking at the Chief Justice Conference 2022 at Bigan Bhavan in, in New Delhi, stress upon decrowding of jails by releasing the under trial prisoners following the guidelines of Honorable Supreme Court and National Legal Service Authority. He also emphasized on providing legal aid to the needy by taking extra effort to celebrate Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. He gave importance on the Bar Council engaging more lawyers in this campaign. According to Prime Minister, ease of justice should get equal importance like ease of doing business and ease of living. Might and strong, might and steel, Nirmanor Mandanda.